His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Law 37 for this year, amending some provisions of the private sector labor law after it was approved by the Shura and the Representatives Council. His Majesty the King also issued Law 38, accrediting the agreement on investment protection between the government of Bahrain and the government of Russia, following the approval of the Legislative Authority. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the monarch of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King expressed sincere condolences and sympathy on the fire that took place in the General Hospital at Jizan City in the southwest of the kingdom and claimed the lives of several people and injured others. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the monarch of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness expressed sincere condolences and sympathy on the fire that took place in the General Hospital at Jizan City in the southwest of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and claimed several lives and wounded others. The Prime Minister also sent two similar cables to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and to the heir of Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the monarch of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed sincere condolences and sympathy on the fire that took place in the General Hospital at Jizan City in the southwest of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and claimed several lives and injured others. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also sent similar cables to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and to the heir of Crown Prince, Second Deputy Premier and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. A massive fire erupted in the early morning at a Saudi hospital in Jizan province, killing 31 people and injuring more than 100. The fire broke out on the first floor of a public hospital in Jizan, where the emergency ward and maternity section are located. The cause of the blaze, which has since been brought under control by fire brigades, was not yet known. An investigation is underway. And His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met at Qdaybiyah Palace today. Sure member and President of the National Institution for Human Rights, Dr. Abdul Aziz Hassan Abul, and the institution's board members. His Royal Highness emphasized that the kingdom continually makes efforts to improve its laws and ensure that human rights are protected within the kingdom and stressed that Bahrain's constitution and national action charter underpin the country's efforts to safeguard individual rights and justice. He added that the commitment to protecting and promoting human rights is a key component of His Majesty King Hamad's program of reform and development. His Royal Highness and Dr. Abul discuss the findings and recommendations outlined in the NIHR report, particularly the NIHR's compliance with the Paris principles which relate to national institutions' protection of human rights. In this regard, the Crown Prince praised the role and the work of the NIHR in advancing and protecting human rights within the Kingdom and added that the institution has been instrumental in strengthening collaboration between Bahrain and international human rights institutions such as the United Nations Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights. He welcomed the independent and wide-ranging work carried out by the Institute and stressed that the Kingdom remains committed to upholding internationally recognized standards to ensure individual rights are protected at all times. For his part, Dr. Abul emphasized that the ongoing support the institution receives plays a vital role in helping it meet its goals and objectives. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today the outgoing Korean ambassador to Bahrain, Yon Ha Yu. His Royal Highness hailed the efforts of the ambassador in enhancing bilateral relations and he wished him success in his future. His Royal Highness lauded the Bahraini-Korean relationships and the development in various fields and lauded both countries' keenness to further enhance cooperation and communication. The Korean ambassador to Bahrain expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness and his keenness to improve bilateral relations.
under the patronage of the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. A celebration ceremony was held on the occasion of the return of Bahrain's naval ship Sabha to the kingdom after its participation in the Operation Restore Hope. On arrival to the naval base, the BDF Commander-in-Chief was welcomed by the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Liab and Naimi, and several BDF senior officers. The BDF Commander-in-Chief greeted the ship and its crew and met with its commander, Captain Brigadier General Adnan Safar, and the crew. On the occasion, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed expressed pride with the crewmen efforts in participating in the Operation Restore Hope, according to the directives of His Majesty the King, in response to the legitimate authority of Yemen. In line with the GCC and Arab Joint Defense Agreement, he conveyed to the crew the greetings of His Majesty the King and commended the BDF staff for their commitment in performing their duties. He added that the BDF participation in the coalition led by Saudi Arabia comes to protect Yemen and its legitimate government in the implementation of the Security Council decisions so as to preserve the Arab security and regional stability.
the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the committee's sixth board meeting. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the efforts of the committee and congratulated board member Sheikh Hayat bin Abdul Aziz Al Khalifa on winning the International Olympic Medal for Women's Sports in Asia and board member Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa for being granted the International Weightlifting Federation's Award for Administrative Excellence. The meeting discussed a proposal to assign a national sports day and adopted a development plan to establish a sports medical center. The board also agreed to establish a human performance lab to measure sports talents and was also briefed about Bahrain's participation in the Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro next year. The Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired today a meeting of the Civil Defense Council in the presence of the Energy Minister, the Minister of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning, the Minister of Health, the Minister of Industry and Commerce and Tourism, the CEO of the Supreme Council for the Environment Council, Chief of Public Security and the General Director of Civil Defense. The Interior Minister welcomed the attendees, highlighting the importance of the meeting and protecting the safety of the public and cooperation between various public and private organizations. He hailed the steps taken by ministries and concerned bodies to reinforce security and general safety. The meeting also reviewed the development project of the public security services as part of community partnership to give the chance to people and non-governmental organizations to support civil defense efforts of general safety, ambulance and evacuation services. The Council was also briefed on the recommendations of a committee assigned to study the licensing of the entry of chemical substances to Bahrain. The Council recommended the establishment of a joint office concerned with the body's licensing and set a joint e-system in addition to the formation of a national lab to test random chemical samples. The recommendations also include a unified mechanism for managing chemical substances in Bahrain. The Interior Minister directed for coordination with the International Atomic Energy Agency to get ready to face any chemical or nuclear threats, noting in this regard a national protection plan for individuals and groups during threats would be drafted. He hailed cooperation of the International Atomic Energy Agency with the Kingdom to reinforce the general safety system. The Council was also briefed by the Health Minister on the medicine stocks in addition to the seismograph station monitoring earthquakes across the world. The Interior Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to the United Arab Emirates and the GCC Permanent Committee for Meteorology and Climate for its cooperation in this field as part of the strong brotherly ties. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today the Arab League Secretary General, Dr. Nabil Al Arabi, in Cairo. The meeting, held on the sidelines of the Arab Extraordinary Ministerial Meeting, discussed important Arab issues on the agenda. Sheikh Khalid praised the great efforts exerted by the Arab League Secretary General in enhancing joint Arab action. He also lauded the efforts in supporting cooperation and coordination with Arab states to overcome the different threats and challenges that require a powerful Arab unity that ensures Arab interests, security and stability in the region, in addition to achieving people's aspiration of progress and prosperity. For his part, the Arab League Secretary General expressed his appreciation to the vital and constructive role played by Bahrain for achieving security and stability in the region and the Kingdom's keenness on developing joint Arab action in all fields. Dr. Al Arabi wished Bahrain progress and prosperity. And the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met Yemen's Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister, Dr. Abdul Malik Abdul Jalil Al Mikhlafi, in Cairo. Sheikh Khalid congratulated Dr. Mikhlafi on his new post, wishing him success during this critical phase of Yemen's history. Sheikh Khalid stressed Bahrain's keenness under the leadership of His Majesty the King on the necessity of the return of Yemen's security stability and the stance against any flagrant foreign interference in Yemen's internal affairs. He also asserted the Kingdom's firm stance in supporting Yemen and its legitimate president, Abdurrabu Mansour Hadi, in addition to its participation in the Arab coalition to defend Yemen's legitimacy and achieve the aspirations and progress and prosperity for Yemen and its people. He underlined the necessity of the political solution in Yemen, adding that Bahrain would continue its contribution in easing the suffering of Yemeni people. For his part, Dr. Al Mikhlafi expressed Yemen's appreciation of the active and participation of Bahrain and the sacrifices of its sons that are appreciated by the Yemeni government and its people. 
to achieve security and peace in all parts of Yemen, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. Also, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with his Egyptian counterpart, Samih Shukri, in Cairo. The two sides discussed the means of bolstering bilateral relations in all fields, in addition to a number of regional and international issues of mutual concern. Sheikh Khalid expressed his pride in the strong, deep rooted, and developing ties between the two brotherly countries on all levels. He added that these relations were based on joint cooperation and communication, in addition to the united stances and visions towards Arab regional and international issues. Sheikh Khalid also asserted Bahrain's stable and support to Egypt, noting that the security and stability of Egypt was the basis of the Arab nation's stability. He expressed his appreciation to Egypt's supporting stance towards the kingdom and its keenness on the best interests of the countries and peoples of the region. For his part, the Egyptian foreign minister praised Bahrain's ongoing development thanks to the wise vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity.